we have another. So Mark, Mr. Zender wants to come up and say a few words. Everybody. So hello all. A little bit like Stan. Um, I, I'm, I'm Canadian, just like Stan is, and so there weren't all that many people to study Maya stuff with. In, oh, sorry. There weren't all that many people to study the Maya with in Canada at that time. There was really only Peter. Um, so, <laughs> that, that came out wrong. Um, <laughs> I'll start again. So I, I was pretty much self-taught in, in, in Maya studies until um, I, I had a, I was finishing up in my undergraduate. I, I had a chance to go study Yucatec at, at North Carolina of all places and uh, travel a little bit in Yucatan. Um, and then it came time to decide where I was going to go uh, for graduate school. Um, and so I had known, of course, of Peter and David Kelly at the University of Calgary for years, but a lot like Stan, I'd never written a letter, I'd never picked up the phone, I'd never thought to visit. And um, around the time that I was trying to decide, um, you know, precisely where I was going to apply and where I was going to go, again, there, there weren't that many choices. There were actually no other universe. <laughs> I, I can't stress that highly enough. There's nowhere else in this only <laughs> in, in Canada. Um, but Peter was ready to host the first annual University of Calgary Hieroglyphic Weekend and Workshops, right? Yeah. How, yeah, there were no more, right? It was about his first annual, though, so it seemed really promising. It's true. <laughs> but no, no. And so this was in November, yes, and it was right after the Chakmul, I believe. So I came out for some of the Chakmul talks. This is a regular annual conference in Calgary, still running, unlike the, the annual Hieroglyphic <laughs> Weekend and the workshop. Um, and I met lots of wonderful people. Uh, Peter had invited Nikolai Gruba, and uh, Federico Fassen was there, and. Um, um, Mario Alifat, I believe, was there, and uh, uh, Garcia Moro was there as well. Yeah, so the incredible star-studded uh, cast, and, and Peter was immensely and incredibly welcoming. Um, very, very much so. Um, I was still an undergraduate. I hadn't really um, officially applied yet. I think the applications were coming due in December. So I was all clever, and I thought I'd meet Peter and see if I was really going to come here uh, before, I, before I really applied. But it was very, very clear to me within just a few minutes of meeting Peter and David Kelly and just, just getting the sense there. And I also met Stan that, that exact same weekend. Um, in fact, I was Stan's first Maya epigraphy student. Stan was my first teacher of glyphs at the workshops that Peter held. Yes. So everything I know or don't know, it's Stan. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, it was a wonderful weekend, and so of course I applied. Um, and Peter had even mentioned, you know, within you know minutes of knowing me and seeing my interest, that he was going to be going to El Cayo, and if I was going to be traveling in Mexico, I should consider coming to visit. Um, so much so that later on, when I returned to Calgary, I mean, returned to British Columbia, I did write Peter and I did apply to the program and Peter phoned me before leaving to Mexico for that, that ill-fated 1997 trip saying, you know, I know I said feel free to come by um, but this is going to be a, a very, very short field season. We're just going to go and, and recover this object. And so, so you probably, probably shouldn't come down. And, and so I, I was just so impressed that he phoned me. Um, that I thought I'd try to show him that I was busily studying um, Maya hieroglyphs. I, I impressed him, I thought, um, by mentioning that I was in the middle of reading Joyce Marcus's Mesoamerican Writing Systems. Um, what I didn't know at the time, as I was waxing on, he was so kind on the other end of the phone. I said, oh, that's, that's very interesting. Uh, wonderful. Uh, tell me more. <laughs> that's my best Peter. I can't do it. So, um, of course, what I didn't know until I got a little bit further through the book is that the entire thing is a scathing critique of how epigraphy is done, and epigraphers don't know anything, and they, they, shouldn't do, they shouldn't believe what's written in hieroglyphs anyway. It's all propaganda. And, you know, so here I was, you know. Oh, yeah. This will impress him. <laughs> well, oddly enough, I was accepted, yeah, so, which, was, which, was, which was also really great. Um, so, of course, uh, moving out to Calgary was, was a wonderful experience. And actually, I, I can't stress enough, actually, how great an advisor Peter was um, for my master's, uh, which I did over the next two years before, before Peter um, left to go to Australia. Um, and Peter had a completely open office policy. Um, Stan and Armando and I would spend hours just talking. Armando and Peter actually had adjoining offices at Calgary in those years, right? And uh, we would spend hours talking about things and we could go and make copies of any of Peter's inscriptions. We would spend hours debating about readings of hieroglyphs and we could see Peter. I mean, more than anything else, I could just see Peter anytime I wanted drawing 
you know, he was drawing hieroglyphs on his light table in the back of his office, and he had us over many, many times um, over to his and Janet's house. And, um, so I, I really just want to end this on a kind of schmaltzy note. I mean, this was a wonderful, wonderful introduction. I was, you know, nobody, and you never, ever, ever treated me like I was nobody. And I think actually everybody who's ever met you knows that that's, that's, that's you. And so that speaks really, really highly to your character, Peter. Um, my wife feels so bad that she wasn't able to be here this weekend just to get a chance to, to honor you along with everybody else. And that also speaks highly, because many other people that I work with, she doesn't care about. So. <laughs> so thank you so much, Peter.